welcome back to cooking with gloria today i want to share with you a very delicious creamy strawberry flan that i know that you guys are going to love and enjoy but first things first my apron is on my hands are clean and i am ready to show you my ingredients <laughs> temperature Philadelphia cheese at room temperature one evaporated milk one condensed milk granulated sugar strawberry extract and two molds this is everything we need to make this delicious and creamy strawberry flan so let's get started I want to start by making my strawberry caramel I'm adding the sugar and you know something from here let's take it to the stove let's start by melting this delicious sugar it really takes a couple minutes when you start seeing the sugar dissolving and slowly but gradually you keep moving the sugar around and you start noticing that it starts getting little lumpy and the sugar stills starts melting away do not step away because the sugar could burn very easily look at this once it's at this point then i am ready to add one teaspoon of my strawberry extract this is the time when i'm going to go ahead and just add it right now Look at this. This is the strawberry extract and just one teaspoon is more than enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it around, making sure that all that delicious sugar is coated with the strawberry extract. Once everything is nice and dissolved, well then I am ready to remove it from the heat because I don't want the syrup to burn because it could burn very easily i'm going to go ahead and put it on my baking dish just be careful because this is really hot and you could really get burned be careful i'm going to just cover all the bottom with this delicious strawberry syrup just like that okay just be careful so you don't get burned and you know something this is now done i'm going to put it aside and i'm going to start by adding my evaporated milk to my blender cup and now i'm ready to start cracking my eggs the total of eggs i'm using is five once i have all the eggs ready i'm going to add it to the blender cup to this i'm going to add one package of cream cheese just remember that everything needs to be at room temperature when i say room temperature get it out of the refrigerator at least one to two hours before you start making this delicious strawberry flan i added my condensed milk i'm gonna go ahead and just mix it completely it really just takes a couple minutes okay this is completely done now i am ready to add it to a larger cup i'm gonna go ahead and add it in here because i still have a little bit of the condensed milk on my can and i just want to remove all of that all the delicious condensed milk everything's gonna go in here i'm adding one teaspoon with a strawberry extract to all this delicious mixture you want to mix it around until everything is really nice and incorporated and you could really see that beautiful color strawberry color now this is nice and cold now i'm ready to add the mixture in here remember preheat your oven to 350 fahrenheit i have a little napkin here to get rid of all those little bubbles and now i am ready to cover it nice and tight with foil paper 
just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get another baking dish a little larger because to that one, I'm going to add hot water. So let's go to the oven and let me show you how I add the hot water. You have to be nice and careful so you don't get burned. Just half ways of the baking dish and then let's cook it for 90 minutes. After 90 minutes, the strawberry flan is going to be completely done. From here, I'm taking it to the refrigerator for one hour to set. One hour has passed, and look at this. I'm going to help myself with the little spatula. Just run it all through the sides, just like that. And let's see how this comes out, okay? Let's see how this delicious strawberry flan comes out. Oh my gosh, this really looks amazing. Look at this. It looks really, really red. All that delicious syrup on the top, the caramel. This just looks amazing. I can't wait to taste it. Nice and smooth. Now I am ready to cut into it and, of course, treat myself with a delicious piece of strawberry flan. Really soft, really creamy, and this is exactly how you want your strawberry flan to come out. Look at this. I am ready to add the strawberries and I'm ready for the presentation. So I'll see you in a bit. strawberry flan. This is the part I really love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Let's see how this strawberry flan came out. I wish you were here to taste it with me. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice and creamy. The flavor of the strawberry is so penetrated. It's really delicious. Excuse me. Mmm. It came out amazing. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share my video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so that Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, Leave it activated so every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying this delicious strawberry flan made at home. When you cook with love, everything comes out delicious. See you on my next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.